Welcome everyone back to another episode of the Free School and Homestead. Uh, it's Wendy here with River, who is having fun eating for the first time actually this spring, because we haven't had a chance to hand graze him, which I am doing right now. That's where the rope is. Um, so yeah, we're just out in the bar, out in the field next to River's barn, having a good old, oh, there I am, hi. Um, having a good old graze. And uh, he's really happy about that. He's still not, uh, River's 22, and uh, he's next racehorse. And he's um, not picking up weight like we would like to this, this uh, s spring. Um, he's obviously not you know, in, in any trouble, but we like, we like really healthy. Um, so we're just uh, hand grazing him now to keep him really happy. He gets fed. Um, horse feed three times a day, so it ends up being 30 cups a day, which is probably not the measurement that most horse people use, but that's what we use. Um, and he gets free choice uh, quality hay at all times. So that means he can, at any time, there's always hay and water, he never ever runs out. So it's definitely not a lack of food. We're wondering if maybe he needs his teeth floated, which is uh, just you know ground down to the, so that there's no uh, impair, impediment to his chewing because when they get older their teeth still grow and this can be a problem. So we're looking into getting a equine dentist vet to uh, check him out. Because other than that we've had literally no problems with him um, other than some choking incidents over the years but that's just from really getting excited about feed and we didn't do feed up until like a two, about a year ago so it was just hay, he was fine on hay. So, so yeah we're just out grazing and having fun on this beautiful, it's Monday morning um, probably not going to like get this, well, I'll, you'll, you'll see this, but there'll be footage from many other things um, in this video, so timeline won't exactly line up, but it'll all make sense, I'm sure. So I just thought I'd share you, share with you what 7 a.m. on the Free School and Homestead looks like. Um, here it is, and this is the field next to our, the airport that we live near. And there, of course, is his barn, airport barn. So he's pretty desensitized to really loud noises. Um, although gunshots really still get him for the flare guns. He doesn't like that. But he can handle it. Mostly because he is a racehorse. And the gunshot, the starter pistol, uh, still triggers him. So, which is why I'm not cool. A lot of reasons why I'm not cool with race, the racehorse industry but uh, we won't make that video about this. <laughs> if you ever want to know more about the racehorse industry, let me know and I, you know, comment below and I'll, I'll do something on that um, and explain to you uh, how River was affected by his specific uh, stint in the racehorse industry, which was, I say stint, it was actually very long. He was, would have been in there from two and then, or earlier, and then he would have been um, well, he went, he came off the track when he was, I think he was nine, or no, no, sorry, he came off the track six years before we got him, and he was 15, so he would have been, yeah, nine, so, I was right, <laughs> so he was nine, so that's, that's a long time to be in the race industry, he's a very sensitive being, um, I had to do a lot of training to help him understand that he wasn't going to be asked to do the things the way that he was ever, ever again. Um, and I haven't actually taken him out like since 2017 out of this paddock. And he's perfectly fine. He's great. He was absolutely insane before if you took him out on a, uh, a lead line. He'd charge at you. He would bite you. He would try to run. He was crazy um, six years ago when we got him. But I did uh, a lot of training with him on my own, all by myself, and uh, just teaching him that he taught me how, how that he needed to be treated, and um, I taught him that he wasn't going to be treated that way that he was ever again. It's been a great, amazing healing relationship for not just him and I, but all of us and anybody who comes around River. So that's actually why we, we have a, a page called Heartland Ranch, which I'll link below. Um, and that's where we often detail uh, what's been going on with River specifically. I haven't been too active just because I've been busy with other things, but that is primarily the place where we post a lot of rivery goodness, especially the emotional therapy part of it, um, because 
Yeah, I just actually haven't done that on video yet. <laughs> this is like probably the first time I ever talked about it. So there's a black fly bugging me. So I'm sorry if my camera work is worse than normal, but it's okay because there's only one and there's usually like a lot right now. So I've come out when it's pretty early and cool before the black flies get nasty. Um, I just figured I'd take this time while River is grazing and I'm not doing much to uh, just talk to you guys and share a little bit of what it looks like than when a horse, you know, grazes for five minutes. Because that's how long I've been talking, so. All right, well, you know that there's gonna be stuff after this. I don't remember right now because I haven't even made the video, so. But you know there's stuff coming after. There will be, you know, um, titles to show you what's happening so it's not just, uh, just crazy videos with you don't know what's going on, so. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to uh, share with you again next week and hopefully all the craziness from the few weeks of being uh, absent on YouTube has gone um, because it, you know all of our plans finally have died down. We finally <clears throat> got a lot of the things that we were working on done. So yay, hopefully this will be another uh, video in the smooth sailing of videos for the rest of the summer. So thanks so much for watching again. We love you so much. Talk to you later. Thanks so much. Bye from the Free School and Homestead. Okay. scary but beautiful at the same time we're all pointing our interest I'm pointing my interest in that fire but the, that beautiful uh, the, the beautiful forest is also very cool anyway
trying to groom you, but it's not working because your hair is all dangled all over her face. Look. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, on, he's guys. coming. Come on. <laughs> oh, the place is really cold, so how are they safe?